what's going on, Cancers. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, or subscribed uh, to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. Also, if the reading resonates, please hit me with a like. That will help me to get this video to circulate where it needs to go. So that those people that are needing assistance can get the assistance they are after. Okay? Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine. Uh, place your energy wherever you need to. Uh, we're just going to tap in. Let's see who's pulling on your energy, who's in your energy, or around your energy now. Cancers. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay. All right. Somebody that you're in separation from. Okay. They may want to meet up with you and take you out, you know, um, spend some time. Okay. Um, I feel like this person, whoever they are, they may miss you a bit, but this is a person that was very neglectful during the time that they've had with you. So in other words, they didn't really understand who you were until you guys were no longer interacting on a, a daily level. Okay. So this person may have went through, um, some sort of discovery period or may have learned, um, that, you know, you were someone that was significant in their life after you guys may have parted ways. Uh, I'll tell you how it resonates uh, for you, Cancer. But this is what's coming through. Struggles to let things go. Now, this person may have been connected to other people. Um, this person may have had uh, interactions or relationships that they um, were still a part of behind your back. Um, this is a person that was in a, a low self-worth period. This is also a person that had a terrible temper uh, for some of you. Hopefully this helps you understand who this could be. You know, the daytime could have been um, something significant. Uh, maybe this job, uh, uh, this person had a job in the daytime very early in the morning um, in November could be significant, could be uh, dealing with a Scorpio um, or someone uh, that could be uh, born in uh, in the fall or around uh, Christmas time or, you know, right before the holidays, something of that nature. This is someone that you thought was single all along, but they were not. Um, cause like I said, this is someone that, uh, was dealing with other people and their person could have been born in September or someone around you could have been, uh, born in September or September could be significant in some way. Okay. Let's see. Spirit gave me these dates or these, uh, months, uh, for a reason. Okay. I'm gonna need you guys to tap in and try to figure out why Spirit is telling me about these months. You know the story. I don't. Okay, uh, but it would be significant for some reason uh, when it's coming to this person and you and the interaction that you guys have. Now, let's tap in some more. Let's see what's going on. What, what else do we need to know about this person for cancer spirit? Okay. Oh, separation twice. Okay, so this person... They feel like, okay, thank you, Spirit, for coming through with this card. Let me explain why we would get the same card twice. Okay, so initially this person was okay with the separation because something was working for them. Okay. However, even though, you know, they were separated from you, they still felt the connection with you. But now this person feels your energy going elsewhere and they feel like the puzzle piece is no longer connected. They feel like people around them are not connecting with them as well. They don't give them the same type of energy that you give them. And they're looking to tap back into your energy um, now, Cancers. So let's see, right? We have Tsunami. So you may have been dealing with a tsunami of emotions when it comes to this person. Um, meaning your energy was up and down. You were feeling some sort of way uh, when either this person uh, walked away from you or the connection that you guys had failed. Um, up and down the energy, up and down um, 
with feeling some sort of way. And it may come on at different times. You may feel, you know, like you're good one moment and then within, you know, a few more moments you're you're very upset or you're you're crying, you know, on and off or something like that. Um somebody could have been dealing with here. Um this person is now seeing you in a different light and they want to spend time with you and they feel like you guys may have dated nicely you may have had good outings and they feel like that may be the way um back into your heart but they're gonna have to creep away from whoever it is that they're with right now okay this is someone that's trying to contemplate how to get towards you they want to move a little independently away from their situation um but this is a person you know that is absolutely connected to another person now okay um what else do i need yep there we go thank you spirit reconciliation forgiveness unconditional love this person now knows how much they care about you bottom of the deck they want a new uh new chance with you a new chapter right they feel like you guys were still in development mode they feel like it never developed the way that it needed to and now they're seeing things on on the pretense of saying you know what my time with cancer you know i didn't have them in a way that i needed to have them but now i have the time and the energy uh and the mental capacity to give them something um that would be lucrative for both of us um uh, but this person has not cut loose from the person that they're currently with okay this person is still in a relationship they're still connected to the other person um and i feel like they're the discovery for them is that this person is not you and now the crave that they have for you is a little bit stronger okay they feel like you know what you know i need my cancer or i'm i'm no one nurtures me like the cancer does, you know, so I may have went to this situation or to this relationship and with high hopes of having something better than what I had um, with cancer. But no, the shocking revelation here is that, yeah, no one does it for me like cancer does. OK, um, now maybe you guys know who I'm talking about, cancer. But this person is absolutely pulling on your energy. And this would be the person that keeps coming up, right? So look, we had um, November energy. Now we have um, Halloween or someone that's very fixated on your energy as well. Um, this is a person that may not like to tell people how they're feeling. They may need to hold their emotions in. Um, this person here in this picture has like a clown face on. So, right, I'm going to paint the face of someone that's happy, but underneath all of that, I'm not happy, okay? We also have the moon energy behind there. So, was there a lot of going on with this person that you didn't understand or that you didn't know? Um, they were very manipulative with your energy or someone could be manipulating their energy. Um, however, this person didn't have the faith um, that they would be able to get back to you, okay? Um, they may be religious where you may be uh, spiritual cancer. So that what could have uh, been the disconnect between the two of you. But I do see that someone here was doing candle magic and someone was very upset that someone walked away. And I feel like that person was you. Okay, so you walked away from this person or may have turned your back to this person. And this is when I feel like the the evolution of their feelings started. Right. It was like a timeline of events. Mm -hmm. You walked away and then, you know, maybe they were pulled through some sort of awakening process by the divine um, to where they started to see you a little differently. OK, um, whoever this energy is, I feel like they had a major impact on your life. I feel like this is someone that may not have. Um, I feel like this, this is an energy that may not have connected with a person as deeply as they connected with you, right? So they could be superficial. They could be um, like a player type of energy or someone that doesn't really tap in with, with emotions much, uh, but they're able to be, you know, a person that gives you affection or a person that, um, you know, can be intimate, but not deeply intimate or not an emotional type of intimacy. Okay, so this is a karmic energy. Okay, so this one, this person may have brought up some things within the union with you uh, that triggered you, that you were needing to heal. Um, Spirit was saying that you you needed to, uh, in this lifetime, 
you, you're here to heal and, and be brought back to your spiritual path. So this person may have put some things there into play for you to where you can be on your spiritual path and heal as you did walk away. Also, this person, they may have walked away from you and have walked to uh, someone that they felt was a better version of you. So in other words, this person not only has a type, um, but they feel like your type is the type that they're after. Um, initially, they felt like you didn't have all of the elements of something that they were looking for and may have looked for another element here. Okay, uh, but now they're desperate. This is absolutely a narcissistic energy that's coming through. Okay, they don't have access to you anymore. They don't have access to you anymore. And they're like on a spaz out. Okay, because they're like, what am I going to do without my cancer? I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so this person, like I said, what happens to a narcissist when you uh, ignore them? You know, um, they generally go star crazy um, because they're not used to that. They're used to people chasing them or doing what they uh, what they want them to do in order to stay in contact with them or to stay connected. Um, but when you detach your energy, it's almost like they're craving you on a level that becomes a little bit obsessive uh, because they no longer have access to, to their fuel. You know, your energy was powering them. You know, your love was powering them. And if they do not have access to that, that outpouring of love that you generally give them, okay, um, they don't know what to do, okay? So you guys um, have this person uh, going through an upsurge of new feelings, right? They want a new beginning with you. Um, they may want to talk about having something that's real as well. We have Knight of Wands energy coming through. They want to move a little hasty. They want to come towards you because they feel like it's just a matter of time before you have someone that's passionate about you and that you're passionate about them and there won't be an open doorway for them to come in your life anymore. Someone's going to snatch you up cancers okay so they're trying to make a quick and hasty decision um they may be trying to come in and make something intimate though because like i said they have not left the person that they're with and for them you know they want to prove that you are still theirs with this four of pentacles energy this is holding on to people in possessions and for some of them they feel this narcissist energy they feel like you their possession, that you belong to them, okay? They want to hoard you. They want to keep you away from other people that may, may take you away from them, okay? And this is an energy that's trying to hold on to you now. They may have three other people that they're doing this to, but because, you know, you're the one that got away, Cancer, they may be focused mostly on you, okay? The one that got away, Eight of Cups, okay? You're moving on. OK, you felt many times that this person abandoned you, that they let you go. Um, so you said, you know what? I'm walking away from this energy. I can no longer deal with this. I'm choosing myself. You went through self-discovery and you looked a little deeper into yourself. And you said, you know what? This is not my truth. My truth, it, it lies in a different outcome than this. And I want to have a different life for myself. I don't want to be with someone that only taps in when they feel like they want to tap in. I don't want to be, you know, feeling like someone doesn't want me or someone doesn't want to be in something. I no longer want to feel insecure, right? I don't want to, to battle my confidence. I don't want someone to be overbearing or, or rude or condescending in my life. You know, and you chose yourself and this is wonderful. OK, no, I don't want to be with you anymore. OK, so you guys may have walked away from a family situation. OK, Queen of Wands energy is the person that is confident now. Right. Not only are you kind and loyal and generous, you're confident now. OK, so walking away from the situation may have raised your vibration, may have made you a little bit more confident um, and made you feel like you can have the home or family um, that you deserve, okay? And this person was not trying to do that. They may have been giving you something on the lines of sex or good energy of that nature, right? In the sexual 
um, capacity, but everything else was crazy or everything else just didn't mesh well with you. We have love. You guys want real love. Look at this. Beautiful. There's cancer energy coming through here. You guys said, you know what? I am worthy of someone that cherishes me. I am worthy of someone that that wants to be in, in a relationship with me and only me, that seeks me out each day and makes a general decision each time they open their eyes to be someone that I can love or that someone that loves me or that someone that is genuine, okay? Not someone that's out here trying to share themselves with other people or someone that wants me to compete for their time and energy. I am worthy of someone that wants engagement and marriage and mutual respect someone that wants to be a part of my life and this is what i'm going after and this is beautiful cancer okay so spirit is saying when this person does come back towards you or this person if they do contact you know that this could be some sort of friends with benefits type of situation because they're not in a place to give you what it is that you see for yourself. And if you do not already have it, hold steady because you do have true love coming towards you. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and light. We have Pisces energy. We have Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy, Leo energy. We have Capricorn energy. Um, and we have cancer out here, my loves, okay? If you guys need a personal reading, the information in the box below. You guys take care.